Hello, lovely lean girls, and welcome to a plant-based full day of eating from your girl. I know you're here because we had a we had a little drama. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I posted a reel up. I thought it was quite funny, saying that I was um with a friend at a vegan restaurant, and I was like, no. I need my protein goals. I ain't staying here. Sorry, I love ya, but I ain't staying here. Well, some people came for me because they said it was so easy and maybe I am just uneducated and maybe I'm, I was called a lot of things, okay? Which we won't repeat, we won't repeat. And for the people that said it, I feel like you were passionate. I'm not even mad, but you inspired this video because I thought to myself, I, firstly, I love plants. Secondly, I feel like everyone should try and eat more plants. And if we can include more high protein plant-based things, then we should do it. So I thought I would give it a shot by doing, I know you girls love a, a full day of eating. So I thought I would try my best to do a high protein full day of eating that was totally plant based. And you guys know, I love me my animal protein. So it was quite challenging. I filmed it yesterday. And so I'm actually gonna talk you through the day, how I made changes from my regular um, recipes. So I use some of my normal recipes that I normally do, and then I made some plant-based tweaks to that, which was pretty easy. There were a few challenges. And then I also wanna talk a little bit about the difference between animal protein and plant protein, and how if you are plant-based, you need to just make sure that you are ticking a couple of boxes to make sure that you are getting the optimal benefits of all of that lovely protein that you're eating. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. And so the big question is, was I able to reach my protein goal at the end of the day using only plant-based foods? So we're gonna see, we're gonna go meal by meal. I'll put the calories and macros up of each of the meals that I had. And then at the end, we will do a little total to see what we did. So my current calorie, um, daily calorie budget is, and remember this is personal to me, is 1,800 calories I do a day. My protein goal is 130 grams that I am aiming for. And um, that is, again, based on my personal goals right now, which is kind of to maintain and build some muscle. And then I have two higher calorie days, which I tend to do on the weekends, and that works really nicely for me. So we are going to firstly do a little body check-in. So this is what I'm currently looking like. I took a little video. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling lean. I've been sticking to my calories, tracking, I'm enjoying new different meals, which I've been loving as well, like trying new recipes. So I'm like, I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I ate like protein pizzas for every single day for like, I don't know, a month. So now I'm trying to get better at also just changing things up a little bit, especially after that gut health interview. She was like, you better eat different foods every day and you can't just eat pumpkin. So I'm trying. Um, and so one eight calories, I'm around 63 to 64 kilos, feeling great, doing my TNT 40 minute workouts. If you haven't checked those out, those are my heavy weight training workouts designed to get that body banging, girl. So if you haven't checked those out, do it. All right, so let's get into the food. So we are essentially doing a little rewind back into yesterday and we will start off with breakfast. So in the morning, by the way, I did have my coffee, which is my standard almond milk cappuccino, almond and oat. That's the one you need from Almond Breeze. And then I did my Lean Girl carrot cake oats, which I normally do um, two things differently. I normally add egg whites and I obviously add whey protein, not plant-based. So how you make this, if you haven't made it before, I used oat flour. By the way, if you are using normal oats, 
please do yourself a favor, either blend your oats or use oat flour, it, like in any oats dish. It makes the most creamy, thick, delicious porridge you ever gonna have. So try out that little tip. Like I love normal oats, like with a normal texture, but this texture, it just takes it to the next level. So please try that. Okay, so then, you add some very finely grated carrot to the oats as well. Pinch of salt, sweetener, cinnamon, some vanilla essence. And then once that's all cooked up for a little bit, it will really get nice and thick. Then you will go ahead and add your plant-based protein. So the one that I used here was the Kauai vanilla. And it's not bad. It's not bad for a vegan protein powder. Guys, I have tasted some bad ones, let me tell you. Um, I have even, like at one point, I was like, Wei and me were just, ugh, we were not friends. Um, and so I was trying to find many different plant-based proteins. I even ordered some from overseas and paid like retarded duties to get it here because everyone was raving about it. I look at the reviews, like the Amazon reviews, everyone was raving about it. I got my protein the most expensive sand I could have ever purchased. It, it's like horrific. And now I have a couple that are still sitting in the cupboard and like they cost me so much, but I also can't throw them away. Like they don't taste good. So I'm just, just when I'm ready, I'll, I'll send them away. But the best plant-based protein I've probably had, the Kauai one, not bad, um, is probably the USN cinnamon vanilla. I feel like Adding cinnamon hides the sand flavor. That's my hypothesis on that. So if you are plant-based and looking for a good one, please go ahead and try that out. So this was the end, my carrot cake oats and topped with a little bit of peanut butter. And plant-based protein, by the way, actually adds quite a nice texture to your oats as well. It makes it thicker versus some ways can actually make it thinner. So that was the carrot cake oats that I had for breaking. Super filling, super yummy. I didn't notice too much difference plant-based versus whey. The only thing that was missing here was my egg whites, which make it a little bit more fluffy. So yeah, that was breaky. I then went on a lovely walk. So I actually trained before the breakfast. I did a little um, TNT workout. I then had my breaky. I then went on a walk. I love to get outside. I went on a walk in the Delta Park in Josie. It's so stunning. If you haven't been there, please do yourself a favor. They have dogs. They even have like horses. It's like a really stunning walk. So I went there and then I grabbed a coffee at the Fresh Top Cafe there, another almond cappuccino with my friend. And I actually popped my head into the store there as well. They have the most insane treats, which we will not even speak of what the calories must be because they look very high, like pecan nuts and a bun, some goodness. But I did try and have a look because it is one of those like super health food stores to see if I could find any high protein vegan goodies. So I did grab a couple of things. And then after that, I headed home for lunch. And so for lunch, I often have like a breakfasty vibe. So I love to have eggs and avo on toast. I feel like it's easy, it's simple, quick to throw together. And so I was looking at some ideas online and I ended up doing a tofu scramble, which is essentially a plant-based option of like a scrambled egg. So I got the marinated tofu um, by the brand Green Guru, which I think is quite nice. It just has a little bit more flavor. And then I just threw together some sourdough. This is the new seeded sourdough from Woolworths, which is really yummy toasted. I love a sourdough. So I did sourdough. I did some smashed avo. And um, again, with the avo here, I would normally add some cottage cheese to firstly make it a bit more creamy and also to add some protein in. So I obviously didn't do that. And then I topped that with some sauteed mushrooms, a bit of spinach. And then to make the tofu scramble, I just heated nonstick pan, spray and cook. And then it said online to just sort of mash it up. And I feel like it was Angie against the tofu. It was not easy to mash up. This is extra firm. So perhaps just like 
normal firm would have been better and easier to mash up. And then tofu doesn't have all the flavor in the world. So you do need to add, I added some garlic powder, I added some salt and pepper, well, like my funky Oma mix. And then I also added some turmeric, which actually gives it the yellow color of a scrambled egg as well. So tofu is quite a nice option because it's probably one of the highest in terms of ratio of protein to carbs and fats. Um, one of the highest options that you can go for. So that's why I went for this. And then I just topped that onto my little sandwiches. Um, and it was really delicious. It was quite filling. Again, tofu is like not the most flavorful thing, but everything together worked really nicely. I also topped it off with some tomato sauce, which some people think that's a sin to have tomato sauce with eggs. Let me know down below if you are a tomato sauce with, with eggs girl or not, or if you think that is vile, but I did need especially it was, a little, it was a little dry. And so I actually Googled it and they said you should add, firstly, they were like add oil, which I mean, obviously that would have made it a little bit more moist, but they also said you could add some milk. So I will try that next time and I'll put the recipe on the kitchen coach as well. And I will add in a note to add some milk on there if you want to try this plant-based scrambled tofu eggs vibe. So that was really nice. And I must say it was super filling. Like after that meal, I was satisfied. Then in the afternoon, um, we went to an afternoon movie. So my dad and mom were visiting. Well, they are still visiting. They're here from PE. I'm a PE girl. Where are my PE girls at? I was born and raised in, well, I was actually born in Grahamstown, but I was raised in PE. I lived there my whole life, basically. So my parents were here visiting. So we went to watch Top Gun. Highly recommended. It was excellent. I often get bored in movies. I won't lie. Um, I feel I get antsy, like if it's not a good movie. And sometimes I will like go out the movies for a little while, do some shopping, come back. Galan's still there. <laughs> but it was excellent. I loved it. I love, love Tom Cruise. And fun fact, my dad is loves planes. He's always loved planes. So he obviously loved the movie. But how's this? When he was younger, he had, well, he still has it. Um, he had color blindness, so he was not able to get his pilot's license and things have now changed. And at the age of 60, he got his pilot's license and he just flies for fun. So yeah, he loved the movie. Anyway, I normally bring my own snacks to the movies and I will normally bring a protein bar. I like to keep my snacks high protein as well. So when you do have a high protein goal, every single little bit counts. So the little bit of egg whites, the little bit of cottage cheese, the protein, high protein snack, and they all add up to help you reach the goal at the end of the day. So again, I needed to choose a plant-based option here. I did look at the restaurant cafe vibe if there were any high protein and um, vegan bars. And unfortunately, the options seem very dismal. Even when I looked up online, like there are not many vegan protein bars. So I got the um, Boom Bar, which is really delicious for a vegan bar. Very yummy. And I also had a packet of Triggs chips in the movies. Um, the bar, bar is delicious, but again, it's not very high protein. And so neither are the Triggs. So my, my snack wasn't as high protein as I, as I would have liked. I also had a few handful of Gillan's popcorn. I'm always like, no, babe, I'm not going to have any popcorn in the movies. I'm like, mm. like try and get the biggest hand, handful. I basically just put it in my lap and then I have like my own bowl. Um, so I did have a few handfuls of his popcorn and Gillan got a big popcorn and he always gets chuckles from Woolworths before. So I, held myself back on the chuckles because I had my own snacks. And then when we got home, Gelan was, I was like, he's like, yeah, I had a good day. Like I didn't even have a big snack. I'm like, Han, do you know how many calories are in the movie popcorn? It's like, it's crazy. It's like six or seven, six or 700 calories for like a large popcorn because of the oil that they use. And so needless to say, he had egg whites for dinner. After that, he was like scarred because he also likes to keep his macros in check. But I mean, I would have just been like, whatever, just forget about it and move on. He was like, I'm going to have egg whites. Shame. Anyway, back from the movies, um, I then made dinner and we got back quite late. So I wanted to do something simple and easy. And I did get some of the soya mints from Woolworths. So they have quite a decent plant-based range of like schnitzels and whatever. So I got the mints, which also seemed like, I don't know, a little bit less processed maybe than like a schnitzel. And so I did a yummy burrito bowl. And let me tell you, the soy mints was actually quite tasty. It was quite salty actually, um, but it was so 
easy to throw together. So I did the soya mince with some of that um, basil and pasta sauce from Woolworths, which I always use on my pizzas. It's got so much flavor and the calories are fantastic. I then added some black beans to that as well, also just to increase the protein. And then I served that with the chickpea pilaf, um, some tomatoes, some corn and some avo. And that was also another really delicious, satisfying meal. Like I would have normally done mince with that because that's obviously a, a animal protein. Well, my go-to would be mince. So I just wanted to put up a little bit of a comparison here to show you the macros and calories between the soy mince and regular extra lean um, mince. So you can see the protein in extra lean mince is still quite a bit higher, but the soy definitely doesn't fare too badly in comparison. I will also add this wine to the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach for you girls. I know you're looking for more plant-based options. So this was a really nice wine and an easy swap out for mince for, to soya. So I will add that one for you as well. And then you girls know to end off the day, I love to have something sweet and I'm laughing because I definitely don't think that my treats were vegan. So I did so well the whole day and then the no moose skinny hot chocolate and the little chocolate that I have, I'm like, Dorfy, those have milk in them. So I apologize, <laughs> I was doing so well. Um, so those were not unfortunately vegan. I think you can do, there are definitely vegan chocolates out there and I'm not sure about vegan hot chocolate. I'm sure there are options as well. So I did that with my almond milk, which is like my little go-to evening snack to wrap it all up. So that was my full day of eating. I have done all the calories and the macros, which I will put up on screen. So if I have a look at my fitness pal, I managed to get in within my 100, uh, 1,800 calorie budget and my protein level, which actually is not bad. I managed to get 96 grams of protein for the day, which based on it being plant-based and I obviously didn't like try that hard. I'm sure that there's more tips out there to be able to get even higher numbers with all of those little additions. Um, so really not bad, around yeah, 100 grams of protein for the day. My goal is 130, so definitely need some more ideas to help me get to the, to the next level. But I hope that that gave you some nice plant-based ideas anyway. Now, as I mentioned, I did want to chat a little bit about the difference between plant-based protein and animal protein. So every protein has, um, well, our bodies need nine essential amino acids. And as a general rule, animal proteins contain all nine of those essential amino acids. And those are essential for optimal just health in general, as well as optimal muscle protein synthesis, which is a long word for muscle gains, which is what us girls are trying to do. So the challenge with a lot of plant proteins is they do not have all nine of the essential amino acids in them. So when you are having a portion of say soy, it doesn't tick all of the boxes in terms of the amino acid profile. So the way that you can get around this is to combine different plant proteins in one meal to make sure that it's ticking all of the boxes there. Another challenge with plant-based protein is they often aren't very aren't pure protein in terms of the ratios of carbs and fats. So the amount of calories that you need to eat to get the same amount of protein in animal um, in plant protein versus animal is unfortunately a lot higher. So for example, um, you know, some lentils, they may have some high protein, but they also have a lot of carbs. So when you are trying to put your meal together, um, you would that would obviously have to be something you're also considering. So to wrap that up, absolutely try and include more plant-based proteins in your diet if you are not vegan or vegetarian still try and include those animal proteins where you can i think that that is still the best option um, in terms of you know optimizing those amino amino acids however if you are plant-based or you are vegan or you know for whatever reason i think i totally respect that and i totally get that and we all make you know different choices and you can still get absolutely wonderful results. You may have to be a little bit more strategic as to how you pay your meals together. And um, as this video showed, it's definitely not impossible to reach your protein goal. I think you can definitely get creative and it's definitely achievable. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful for my 
regular girls that eat animal protein. I hope that you got some nice new plant-based recipe ideas for my vegan and vegetarian ladies. I hope that this also gave you some inspiration on some new meals that you can try. Let me know down below, all my veggie and vegetarian girls, let me know what is your best high protein food that is also like calorie conscious that I should be adding into this meal plan. And I will try this again to do another full day of eating that is plant-based for you. So that's it from me, girls. I will see you back here next week on the Lean Girl YouTube channel. I wish you a beautiful week ahead filled with happiness, joy, adventure, and yummy food.